Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I will uh, rather stand. You know, I don't want to depart so much from the culture that I have lived in for 30 years. Otherwise, the officers here will feel disappointed that uh, I am not respecting the military tradition. So I'll present standing. And it also gives me an opportunity to be distant away from my moderator so that he doesn't poke at me when I'm going over the time. Uh, let's see if we go straight to the point. Uh, I have uh, uh, the task to look at uh, the causes and drivers of violent extremism uh, around the Lake Chad Basin. Uh, the drivers and enablers of violent extremism are multiple, complex, context-specific, and have religious, ideological, political, economic, and historical dimensions. They are also at individual, group, community, regional, transnational, and global levels. The drivers of crisis in the Lake Chad Basin was summarized in a U.S. Council of Foreign Relations Policy paper authored by Ambassador John Campbell, uh, who is more a Nigerian also in his work in 2014, uh, along the following, you know, water crisis and related human insecurity, state fragility, frayed relations between states and citizens, violent conflicts fueled by violent extremist uh, organizations, particularly Boko Haram and regional upheavals, displacement and refugee population, poor regional problem solving capabilities. This was 2014. The Boko Haram insurgency in the Lake Chad uh, region has caused large scale human displacement in its immediate and distant uh, areas since the beginning uh, of the armed phase of the rebellion in 20, uh, 2009. Uh, uh, Office of the Commission for uh, Commissioner for Human Rights, uh, uh, Humanitarian Affairs estimates over 9.9 .9 million persons have so far been displaced and about uh, 35,000 people have been killed. But these estimates, are, uh, especially number killed, is quite more. The scourge of Boko Haram insurgency, as we know, it came to most international attention after its audacious raid and uh, abduction of the Chibok girls, uh, which we have there on the picture on the, on the 9th of 14-15 uh, April 2014. The Lake Chad and its basin occupy, I don't want to under, uh, assume, I don't want to over assume that we are comfortable with the geography of the place and I also don't want to be condescending to assume we don't. But then I think it's important to get the geography in perspective. The Lake Chad basin and its uh, occupy an area estimated to be about 966,000 uh, square kilometers and it's shared of its shores and waters along the common borders of Nigeria Cameroon, Chad, and Niger. The four nations aside sharing the lake, which was formerly the sixth largest in the world, also shares a common ethno-linguistic affinity amongst its people. Uh, majorly, the people of the area are the Kanuri, the Shua, the Hausa, uh, the Fulani, the Kotoko, and the Manga in the general area, and many more. Uh, the largest cities are Maiduguri in Nigeria, Marwa in Cameroon, uh, N'Djamena in Chad, and Difa. But I tell you, the Lake Chad Basin actually spreads down into far westwards in Nigeria towards Kano and uh, even up to Daura and Kasana. Uh, the, lake Chad, the lake is charred mainly by major river Chari and Lagon from Cameroon as well as Kamadu, Yobe, and Ngada rivers in Nigeria. These major rivers has, uh, have all been mostly dammed by the nations. I'm taking time to put this in context because this geographical and developmental, unplanned developmental uh, uh, progresses by the various nations actually came in the long run to impinge on the shrinking of the lake which is one of the factors that exacerbates uh, the conflict. Uh, the situation has so much uh, caused the lake to shrink to 90% of its original size. For definite examples, a 2005 survey now has it to be 
of about 1,350 square kilometers of 25,000 square kilometers as recently as 1983. So you can see how drastically the, the, the river is, uh, 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 is shrinking. Sorry. Islamic State in the West Africa or the Islamic State uh, West Africa province, Iswap, uh, formerly known as Jamaatul al Sunnah Lid Dawati Wal Jihad. I think my Arab friends will help me out. It's such a tongue twister. Um, dominated, the, dominated the whole of the area, you know, when they started their uh, real rebellion uh, uh, in, in, in 2009. Uh, the insurgents have operated in Lake Chad, in the Lake Chad Basin and across the wider Sahel region since the ninth, uh, 19th century. There has been a history of insurgencies in that whole basin. When warrior scholars uh, like Usman Damfodio uh, but, uh, did the Fulani Jihad surge towards uh, the east, but was halted by Shehu Muhammad El Kanemi of the Kanem-Borno Empire. And uh, subsequently, colonialism came, and uh, the Germans and uh, the Great British uh, 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 fought and took over the, 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 the empires. The area also has a history of violent criminality that includes smuggling, cattle rustling, corruption, and extortion by different types and levels of government establishments. Oops, sorry. including traditional authorities and mafia gangs. There is also proven commercial deposit of hydrocarbons aside the rich aquatic resources and pasture in the area. The area is therefore characterized from history by armed violence. In contemporary history, the area also provided grounds for Chadian rebel groups that fought the government of Chad through the 70s up to the early 80s. But Boko Haram founded in 2002 was led by Abu Bakr uh, Sheikh Ao up to 2009. Uh, he was le later killed by, by government when he was arrested, and uh, the Boko Haram that were quartered uh, in an area in Meduguri were, were dispersed. Uh, they were hounded and killed in their numbers and forced to disperse and concentrate in Sambisa Forest in the, so uh, in the south northeastern Nigeria, up to the Mambila Mountains along the uh, Cameroonian border, and also the fringes of uh, the Lake Chad. Um, when, the group was, when the group was first formed, their actions were nonviolent. They were more a group preaching their own version of the gospel of, of Islam and providing alternative ex essential services uh, and my, even microcredit facilities to the poor and disadvantaged adherents, which government was not providing. Uh, their main goal was to purify Islam in northern Nigeria. Uh, then since March 2015, however, the group has been aligned with the Islamic State of uh, Iraq and the Levant, ISIL, ISIS, and whatever uh, uh, other kinds of names uh, the Islamic State had uh, acquired by a definition of uh, its region. Since the current insurgency started in 2009, Boko Haram has killed tens of thousands of, uh, and displaced about 2.3 million people from their homes and has been ranked uh, the fourth uh, most deadly terror group by the Global Terrorism Index in 2015. Uh, Boko Haram regrouped under Abu Bakr Sheikh Ao, the gentle sheikh in the middle of the picture. Uh, and resumed with terrorist principles against the common people who would not join them uh, without discrimination, whether they are Muslims or Christians, as well as attacks on government and traditional institutions, including Western establishments. We all remember the UN, the audacious attack on the UN building in Abuja. At present, the influence of Sheikh Ao has whittled due to severe government military action uh, against them in the Sambisa enclave and also the break between him and uh, actually Yusuf Muhammad's uh, son, uh, Abu al-Musabib uh, uh, al-Barnawi, -Bar uh, um, 
who is now more active and commands the Lake Chad uh, region where he is based. And his own approach uh, on like the Shikau uh, scorch art policy tactics uh, is rather more persuasive and uh, offering incentives uh, like security for the people, grazing land, um, provides slaughterhouses, and uh, even fuel, you know, and, uh, with, and, and, and taxes the population to, 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 to protect them. The faction also did not attack communities, but mostly military law enforcement and government buildings and personalities. The al Barnawi faction was the group that uh, replicated the abduction of uh, girls at Dabchi, uh, Yobe in northern Nigeria on the 19th of February uh, 2018. Since the break, Boko Haram has been finding alliances with the uh, Islamic State, and uh, we have observed quite an encroachment and uh, an affiliation of various is, uh, uh, Islamic fundamental uh, uh, violent uh, extremist organizations across various cells in North Africa and down into Mali, the Sahel, and uh, the Lake Chad Basin. Um, there is a sense in uh, portraying the fundamentally focusing on the violence and not looking at the deep causes, which rather are lack of governance and, uh, and, and development. Um, and so it is important that uh, while we understand the jih terrorist jihadist perspective of it, we must also understand that there is the nexus with crime and lack of governance, uh, which is lack of uh, Includes lack of socioeconomic, uh, socioeconomic deprivation, poor governance, and uh, environmental degradation, which, uh, when instrumentalized, drives the violent conflict and uh, fragility in the in the in the in the in, in the lake in the lake region. Um, I want us to spend some time to look at these slides, which is an out of an UNDP study which outlines four critical root causes. And at the top, you have the uh, intermediate uh, causes. But I will, for, for, for time, I will focus on the base, at, uh, more or less the root of it, which uh, has been spelled out uh, by, by UNDP to include weak state capacity, insufficient government and poor service delivery as root causes, high levels of societal division along ethnic or religious lines, exacerbated by elites' low levels of trust, endemic sense of political and economic marginalization, low levels of uh, development, and high levels of poverty. There are also these <clears throat> geopolitical forces and a sense of injustice, inequality on a global scale, because uh, you know the Islamists, have this idea of the return to the golden years of, of Islam, where there was social justice and, and equity, and they would uh, propagate this idea of the, uh, uh, of the ancient Islamic empire with the fight against uh, the crusaders, and uh, uh, look at it in a modern perspective of the West trying to repress and engage in a war with Islam. So there is also this perception of a Western war uh, on Islam, which uh, gave rise to, uh, from the war on terror that uh, uh, we're experiencing that is uh, um, uh, fostered by, by Western nations. Uh, for the underlying causes, they are replete out there for shortage of time. Uh, I will not. Uh, 
uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, belabor that point, but I'll go up back to the top quickly and uh, look at the immediate causes, which include heightened perception of relative economic uh, deprivation at the individual and uh, community levels, increased dissemination of extremist uh, narratives by the uh, uh, insurgent groups, and then there is easy access to weapons and sources of funding. We always uh, speak to how the collapse of uh, Gaddafi and Libya had supplied en masse uh, weapons and, uh, and um, criminal activities like um, illicit uh, 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 trade in, uh, um, in, in, in drugs and uh, uh, contraband helps to fund uh, the insurgencies. And of course, weak governance and management of religious in institutions um, is very common in the area. Uh, the judicial system, the government system is, is weak, and there is absence of, uh, of institutions that listen actually to local uh, grievances. The next slide provides a semblance of solutions. It, may, it might be busy, okay? But I put it out there as we discuss, so you can keep, stay awake and, uh, and, uh, and uh, look at the whole metrics to appreciate that it takes a multi-dimensional, multi-sectoral, and multidisciplinary approach, you know, to deal with the multi-dimensional uh, 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 causatives. But I want you to focus on the colors uh, green, purple, just at the top of the uh, root causes, which are rule of law, the solutions, to build community resilience, uh, find socioeconomic development and empowerment of the people, and the use of uh, technology for uh, strategic communications. Uh, further study ad advises that national uh, preventing and countering violent extremism strategies should be framed to address the root causes by building stronger state capacity, efficient governance, and good service uh, delivery. Uh, also, to challenge low levels of societal division among ethnic and religious lines and high levels of trust between public and uh, the public and the elites. Because uh, I, I was having a conversation today uh, earlier with a friend, and we all agree that elitism is one of the major drivers, you know, of the challenges of development and conflict that we have uh, in the African sub, uh, subcontinent. Um, it is important to think and drive political and economic inclusion from a base, broad-based uh, development in order to challenge and eliminate uh, poverty. And of course, a sense of justice uh, for the people. My next slide intends to address the growing interest as to why the severity of Boko Haram insurgency is not widespread in the Lake Chad Basin and even further into the Muslim, Muslim northern Nigeria, for example. I will draw on, his, uh, uh, on a historical perspective. I had spoken about the two empires, the Fulani Sokoto Caliphate and the, uh, and the, and the, and the Kanemborno Empire. Well, this issue of the lack of severity in recruitment and attacks in other parts has historical ethno-linguistics, ideological and socioeconomic geopolitical backgrounds that goes back to the 9th uh, and the 19th century of the history of the spread of Islam through commerce contacts with the Arabs as well as the expansion of the Sokoto Fulani Caliphate through the Jihad of Sheikh Usman and Fodio and uh, its halt at the uh, of its surge at the eastwards boundaries of uh, the Borno Empire. 
you can see that the Borno Empire actually occupies the general area of the Lake Chad Basin. Uh, the Boko Haram insurgency, talking about ethno-linguistic causatives, influences, is mainly a Karnuri uh, uh, insurrection. The main uh, personalities and the, the, the initial surge of persons were mostly Kanuri. It found its source from the historic pride of the Kanuri people of the Borno Empire as the lords of all the ethnicities. Remember, I had men mentioned the ethnicities that occupy the general area. Uh, then historical after peace was reached between the people of the two empires, the Fulani empires and the Borno empires. It was even the practice because of the fundamental superior knowledge in theology that was in the Borno Empire. You find people from the Fulani states actually migrating to the East to, for, for scholarship, just like it is from, uh, uh, with people from Niger, Chad, and, 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 and Northern Cameroon will come into the Kanuri states for theological training in Islam. Uh, in, 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 in Nigeria, it is common to hear uh, a house of Fulani saying he's going east to learn. In contemporary history, again, the level of poverty and poor infrastructure in the Lake Chad does not match those of the further areas which constitute the Fulani states of Sokoto, Kano, Zaria, and Gusau, among others, which become industrialized. There you have uh, these cities have attracted Lebanese, uh, Syrians, Yemenis, as well as European merchants, and uh, who have settled in those co cosmopolitan areas. So there is industrialization and trade and interaction much more in the, in the former Sokoto Caliphate areas than you would find uh, in, the, in, the, in the Lake Chad Basin, or otherwise the former Kanemborno Empire. At present, the Abu Musab al-Barnawi faction of Iswab dominates the Lake Chad uh, region and has established credible presence on isle islets on the lake and at strategic towns around its shores and holds them in effective control and administration. Uh, the Lake Chad Basin uh, Commission states have equally deployed elaborately to uh, neutralize uh, the control of the strategic ter territory from the group this effort is designed around the MNJTF, which complements the effort of the militaries and security operations of, uh, of the individual states. Furthermore, there is multilateral uh, political and defense uh, arrangements to securitize and develop the region. At the political levels up there, you have uh, the ECOWAS, the Lake Chad Basin Commission, the European Union, and of course, France. While at, uh, at the defense, at the military level, um, you have uh, the MNJTF, um, uh, the G5 Sahel, uh, Operation Barkane, and uh, Operation Seville. Uh, these structures provide credible opportunity for finding peace and stability for the region to enable sustainable uh, development and to deal with those drivers and roots of uh, the, the uh, the conflict. Uh, to, uh, to quickly co conclude, in order to ensure enduring peace and stability in the uh, Lake Chad region by eliminating the root causes and drivers of violent extremism, I, from various studies and thoughts, um, this are uh, uh, the likely approaches. One, mainly uh, 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 development and implementation of a holistic strategy that responds to the manifestations and drivers of the insurgency back to my very busy slides around the Lake Chad Basin by addressing crime, justice, trans particularly trans, uh, transitional justice for the people that have been abused by the conflict. Uh, it is important to have good governance at local and, and, uh, local and regional economic development at national uh, and multilateral platforms. And uh, there is a new Lake Chad Basin Governors Forum that met over about a month ago. So it has come even to the regional sub-national levels that 
the governors of the various states from the national, uh, from, uh, from the nations around the lake had found it important to strategically meet in order to deal with the problems from the, even the community level. Uh, it is important to enhance military cooperation uh, of the uh, multinational of the MNGTF because its capacity and capability is not up to the required uh, level for the best of its operations. Um, it will be very important to reestablish comprehensive, formal, and traditional government institutions around the, uh, around the region because now, um, because of the insurgency, most of real state structures have been destroyed. You know, uh, the local governments uh, have, uh, 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 have evacuated and are mostly in Meiduguri and uh, safe areas. But most of all, at the center and very, very critical is the issue of recharging the Lake Chad to nearly its former capacity because of the economic and the existential benefits that it brings to the huge population of about 30 million people that depend on it. Thanks very much for your patience with me. And I hope uh, we will get more our teeth more into issues that may have been raised by these presentations during the Q&A. Thank you very much, sir.